it's working all right. Yeah. So bad. Hi YouTubers. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a quick video on uh, setting up an airing in your fish room. Well, when I started building up my tanks, I realised how important it is really to have loads of oxygen and ox oxygen going into all your tanks. You've got like you end up with air pumps everywhere. So I decided, having seen a few other people's fish rooms, uh, to put an air ring in. Now, I put an air ring in about three months ago. I've got to put some more in. So I thought, while I'm putting some more in, I'll just explain how this system works and how easy it really is to do this for yourself. It's a lot cheaper. You'll have loads of airlines then to run air stones, uh, sponge filters, under gravel filters, oxygenators, just about everything. I'll just show you the strength of it there, that air stone there, that's going like one ohm. And at the minute I can run about 30 of those on, uh, you can see how good my oxygenation is, even in the smaller tank up there. Okay, so I'll just run you through the system. Now down there we've got a Halia single outlet air pump. Now that's what runs the system. The only advice I've got here is to make sure that the hose doesn't kink up. So it will stop working. You can hear how quiet that is. That's lovely that. That's a single outlet Halia air pump. And that runs all the way round to here. Excuse me a minute guys. Right, this is where it joins my piping system. That's the pipe there that runs from the Halia air pump, which goes into another pipe, into another pipe, which then goes over the top of the 22mm piping for the actual plastic piping for your air ring. Now, all those pipes there are joined together with Vaseline. That sets quite nice, it's got a quite a good seal, you can just see a bubble there, look, where it's sealed really well. Now, this piping is Wix's water piping and that's uh, a push fit joint 90 degrees. Now that 22 mil piping runs all the way around to this end here, got a 90 degree bend in the corner. Now that there's a cap end. So what that does that effectively 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 gives you a, a seal. Now what I want to do now is round this part of the room is I need to run another one. So this 90 degree bend here is going to be replaced by this T piece. So you can see where that fits in there. And then I shall run some piping across there to a 90 degree bend and to one there. Okay, this is my piping here, it's all ready. Now, what you then need is a 6mm drill bit to drill holes to put these joints in. Now this is the joint I'll just show you. That's a 90 degree joint which fits normal air tubing. There. Okay. So I drill a 9mm hole in and I get some Araldite glue. There it is. Now that's quite good that Araldite it's a really good bond, it's a two part process. You have equal quantities of each glue, you've got the glue and a hardener, mix them together. And then you bond those in there, I've got to let them dry yet. But you can see how the system's going to work. Okay, there they are. Now if I can do that guys, anybody can, it's a piece of cake from there. So when you've got them, what I'll do now is this one here will go there and I'll have another cap end in this corner. So it's completely capped off. Now, when I've got those joints in there, I'll attach air tube into that joint to a valve. Now that controls your airflow. Okay, so if it's closed, no air comes in, no air gets out and seals the system. As you can see here, look. I've got spare ones there. There's my joint from the first time. Normal piping down to the valve. Now that's 
that's how the air system works and honestly guys it's just so so easy got them all over the place oxygenators air stones filters they're all over i can probably run about 30 on this i'm gonna have about 24 going in the long run uh, i would advise if you're getting the piping is to get this silicon piping it's a little bit more expensive but it's a lot more flexible than the glass piping that uh, glass piping plastic piping which goes really hard and brittle uh, that doesn't that keeps really good all you then need is um, some joints like that screw to your wall click your piping in there it is look Wix's push fit I think it's 22 mil it's a piece of cake we used to have one of these these Halios down there and they had them with splitter cables God almighty, you don't have need some you don't have need some tubing for that. This looks really nice this system and it's really easy. Just give it a go and it's not expensive. It's probably cost me 30 quid. 40 pounds for a, for the air pump and about 30 quid in bits. And there you go, it's so easy. Okay guys, that's it. Um any questions please post them on this video uh, I'll just show you this as well it's the um, Geophagus Brasiliensis eggs what I've done there is I've put the uh, into a plastic pot so what happens is when the eggs start freeing off and they're becoming wrigglers they drop into the bottom of the tray they don't get shooting all over the tank just a bit of a tip there for you put a stone in to keep it weighted down Airstone at the side to maintain the airflow, and I'll have loads of babies off there. They're doing really well, as you've noticed, they've gone really, really dark. So, okay, guys, uh, thanks to me subs. See you, tubers.